guys, so today I have a haul for you guys. Um, if my voice sounds a little bit weird, I have a cold right now, so it's not going to sound normal, but um, hopefully you'll know what I'm saying. So the first item I'm going to be talking about is this hat I got from Urban Outfitters. It was only $15, and I found it at the men's section, and I'm just in love with it. Like, I wear it literally everywhere because it is so amazing, so comfortable. I'm going to wear it until, like, next spring, and it's just, it's just awesome. The next item that I got was actually from Taiwan. So this is just a cross necklace. It looks like this. I actually have worn these in a bit of outfit of the days so it's just really really cute and these are actually from box stores and in Taiwan box stores are basically like where you have a store filled with a lot of boxes and each box is actually from a different person so they like they rent that box out so that's a really cool idea and this one I forgot the price but it was actually really really cheap since we're going with um, Taiwan items the next item I got from there were these pair of coinish earrings. Um, I really, really love these. They're really cute. I don't really know how to describe them, but I love the color and I love how big they are so that they're like noticeable. So if I tie my hair up, like people can see, bam, these are the earrings that I'm wearing. And they're, they're cute and they're also really cheap. They were like $5, I believe. So I also got another cuff. I am in love with cuffs because I always wanted to get a Carter's earring like right in the smack middle of my ear but I know my mom will say no because she, is, she doesn't want me to get another one so cuffs are awesome because they kind of look like you have another piercing. got this cuff, it's just kind of plain, it looks like this, um, nothing really spectacular about it. Now this one was a little bit more expensive because I got it from Bali and it was this um, jewelry making place where they teach you how to make silver which is really cool. I'll just show you guys how it looks like. So this is where I got it from and um, these were actually like $15 I believe. So a little bit more expensive than the other jewelry I got. Okay so the next pair of earrings are a little bit more dangerous if I were to wear these I could like stab someone someone in the eye so if someone were to come behind me with these earrings I could be like ba bam and yeah <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying are the pair of earrings they are spiked earrings as you guys can see I don't know if it's focusing but um yeah I really really like these and these were actually on sale for I believe 50 NT in Taiwan on the night market streets um, which is around like, oh gosh, I'll leave it right here. <laughs> okay, so the next earring, I know I have tons of earrings from there, but it's okay because I'm rocking out these like every single day. This one is actually for my cartilage piercing. I got this at the night market, so I have to scrub it down a lot. Um, I put it in the UC Silver case, but this is how it looks like. It's just a normal stud. It's kind of big and flat, and I really, really love it, and it just kind of stands out in my ear. Okay, so the next item I actually did not buy. My Auntie Abby, she is so nice. I want to thank her so much for buying me this because I know it's like $25, um, so pretty expensive. This is the Collective Shoe Amora Eyelash Curler, and she got this from Taiwan for me. It was 580 NT, so yeah, that sounds like a lot, right? But um, this is how it looks like. It's really, really cool. I use it every single day, and it gives me amazing lashes. Like, I'm Asian, and my eyelashes are like a piece of feather or whatever, and this just gives it so much volume, so much curl. I love it. So as you guys know, in New York City, where I live, we don't have a Daiso. And I've seen vlogs of like, you know, it's Judy's life and other people going into Daiso. And I've always wanted to go. So in Taiwan, they have a ton of Daisos all around. So I got, <laughs> it's a funny eraser, as they call it. And I'll show you what's in each, each thing. One, I believe, is mochi. I'm not really sure what it is, but um... I think it's mochi 
And then the second one is this wrap. It looks like a wrap with a piece of poop in it. <laughs> like, that's the first thing I thought. It's a wrap, like a pink wrap, with poop in it. I don't think it's poop, but that's what I'm going to call it. And then the next one is this soup. It's cute. It, they're all detachable, so let's say if you're in class and you're bored, just like detach them and put them back together. Also in Taiwan, we made boxes, like jewelry boxes, because it was just fun and it was in a kid's department store, so we're like, what the heck? So I made this box. It's really, really cute. Um, it has black and then pink, and you could totally tell this is mine because I love the color black. And I also made this clay sculpture. <laughs> I know. Okay, there were days when we were very bored and we had nothing to do. So we just went to the department stores and we just made arts and crafts things like this. These are cool too. You can stick them anywhere you want. So the next thing I got, I had to get makeup there because makeup there is like cheap and it's different. So I got this Mako Perfect Dark Mascara. It's a cute packaging and you should have seen the thing that it came with. It was like this this girl with these false eyelashes. And by the way, everyone there wears false eyelashes. The one that I got were these Illegal Length Mascara. This one I actually got at Target here. Um, and I am in love with this mascara. I've heard... I didn't hear a lot of hype on it on the TV or anything, but if you really have short eyelashes, you should get this because it provides a lot of length. That's some bobby pins because I always lose my bobby pins. I started out with 500 like a year ago and I lost them all. So now for the clothes, I actually, when I came back to New York, I bought a lot of clothes from Brandy Melville specifically because I've been missing my Brandy Melville. I love Brandy Melville so much. I get like all my shirts from there. Looks like this. It's a crop top in the front, but in the back, it's a party. You know, like business in the front, party in the back. This is how it looks. It's like a rib, like a, this is a spine and then these are the ribs. I um, mean, it's really cool. This one was around like 25, I believe. Um, I ripped the t price tag off because I wore it a couple days ago, so I don't really know how much it is, but it's in the stores now if you want. Next thing that I got from Brandy Melville was this top. It's super flowy. It looks like this. So it's just a plain white top, and then you could tie it at the bottom, and it has this collar. So I really, really love this shirt. Especially on days where I'm lazy and I just need a shirt to be comfortable in. I put this like a tank top under, then I wear this, and then I'm good to go for the day. The top was, um, it was around like 25 as well. I'm not really sure, but I think that's the price. The shirt that I got, I actually never wore. This one's $17. Um, and I actually am in love with this shirt. It is wrinkly right now. But in the front, it's a normal tank top that goes like this. And then in the back, it goes really, really low. And that's what I love about it. So that you show a little bit of back, but it's still really cute and flowy and pretty at the same time. Okay, so on my trip on Broadway, if you know that Soho shopping area strip, I went to Urban Outfitters because if you guys didn't know, all the jeans right now, Urban Outfitters are $39. They go from like $70 to $39, $50 to $39. So I was in love. I was like, I have to go and splurge on jeans because everything is $39. So the first pants that I got were these. They're like, they're high-waisted. All the jeans are high-waisted. I'm going to get up to show you how beautiful these things are. Okay, so the first pair of jeans that I got look like this. So they're from the company BDG, and they just go down, and they're skinny and high-waisted, and I really, really love them. And these are also really cute. They are black. They're the high-rise cigarette jeans. And, um, yeah, they're basically the same thing, but in black. In Taiwan, I also got a pair of jeans. These are from the company Wrappers, and they're green they're not high-waisted but I really love them and they have like this cute um, leopard print in the back and they just go down like this they're also skinny 
and I really, really love these. Also, if you're wondering what size I am in Taiwan jeans, I'm a size small. Um, I know, like, the people there are really, really tiny, so, like, some people had to get medium, some people had to get small. I got small, um, but yeah, they're, they fit really, really well. Also from Taiwan, from the night market, I got this jean, like, really, really edgy looking jean vest. It looks like this. It has like the distressed um, seam at the side and I wore this in an outfit of the day so if you haven't seen that um, go check it out right now. It's on my channel and yeah I really really love this. It also you can tie it at the bottom which is really funny because when I was trying this on this guy, the worker there, they're super duper nice. He ran up to my dressing room and tied the thing for me and I was like what? I just got out to show my cousin, but it was it was really nice and I really loved this and it was only like $15. I think that is everything in my haul. So I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing. It means so much to me that you guys would do all of that and then, you know, comment and like and then inbox me. It means a lot because um, when I started YouTube, I didn't know what the feedback was gonna be like. I didn't know what the hate was gonna be like. I thought there was gonna be like zero people watching my videos. So thank you guys. Um, please subscribe if you want more. I have a lot of ideas. I think I'm gonna do another lookbook because you guys like that and have been requesting it. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <coughs> this is the after effect of a haul. I basically just throw everything around once I'm done hauling it. Show you an outfit of the day today for my lips. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions on it. Um, I'm wearing this one is from CoverGirl. It's called Fairy Tale. My hat from Urban Outfitters. My shirt. Um, I made this shirt. So I made like these really large armholes, and in the back, here I'll show you guys. It's like twisted. It's really, really cool. And then this skirt is from Brandy Melville. So that's my outfit of the day. I love you guys. Mm -hmm.